What's up guys, Main Mom Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always and welcome back to the legendary Tekken 3. I said I was not gonna do a revisited series on this game but I'm so happy I changed my mind. I tried the game again, believe, believe it or not, I haven't played this game in 20 years. When Tag 1 was released I played that, dropped Tekken 3 and I've never gone back to it. This is just unbelievable. Now testing it again, I'm like, oh shit. It's so much fun, and I thought it was gonna be exactly like Tag 1, but it's actually quite different in a lot of aspects. So I'm very happy I'm back, and we're gonna take a look at a lot of characters, and it's gonna be real interesting, I think, for all of you, because it is very different. But of course, this is the game. When I meet people I don't know outside, when I go to a pub or whatever, I've even gone on dates and I've said, I'm very into Tekken, and the first game everyone mentions is, oh, I played Tekken 3, it was so much fun, and then I didn't play any other games. But this is when I'm talking to like, the casual casuals. Everyone has played this game, especially people in my age. It's like, this is the game they associate with Tekken, and why not? It was so ahead of its time. The graphics, the gameplay, the unbelievable leap from Tekken 2 to Tekken 3, where it's, you can't even compare the games, where, considering, I mean, Tekken 3, introducing the tech roll, the Okiseme, the wave dash, the back dash, the movement, movement being cancelable, the throw breaks, the, just the characters themselves gaining so much new interesting tech, it's like, the, the soundtrack, it's a, you can't compare them. Tekken 3 was so ahead of its time, and probably the most successful Tekken game to date, and arguably the best Tekken game to date. Uh, so, of course, we're gonna have to do a video series on this. And we are starting out with Mr. Jin Kazama, the mysterious grandson of Heihachi, the carrier of a Mishima legacy, um, and in this game, you know, fighting with the actual Mishima Ryu, where he would abandon it to Tekken 4, the next canon game in the series. Um, but so, there's a lot of broken shit in this game. Jin is broken beyond belief, but actually, he's not the strongest character. The strongest character is Normal Ogre, so not True Ogre, but Normal Ogre, and rest assured he's gonna get his own video where I detail what makes him so busted, but uh, so if Ogre is SS tier, Jin is S tier. Jin is uh, just leaps above any other character in this game except for Ogre, and I'm gonna try and detail it, but first off we have to say it that in this, this is the game where they introduced the Mishima. So that's the wave dash, the 50-50 mix-up, and just uh, be electric. Uh, well, sorry. Jin is the only character who can electric in this game. Uh, but so this is where, ha where we have a Mishima gameplay, sidestep left to counter Mishimas. Uh, wave dash, back two to get the wall standing two. But the most technical Mishima technique, Ev everything that is Mishima related, actually goes all the way back to Tekken 3. All of this tech. So uh, kudos to the team who made this game, because oh my god were they creative. Oh my god. Uh, so let's just, let's just go right into it and talk about Jin. And uh, first off, uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, the electric. He is the trademark Mishima technique. Introduced in this game, Jin is the only one who can do it. He actually doesn't have his electric yet. And immediately, immediately, I have to say that it's easier in Tekken 3 than it is in other games. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a just frame, so it's frame perfect in modern Tekken games, or Tag 1 until now. But in this game, I think there's two frames of leniency. Uh, it's just very easy to do. Uh, so obviously this was something they fixed and um, it is um, Like in well oh, Jesus. Like in uh, other games plus five on block Okay, it's very easy to do except I can't do it, but I'm recording a YouTube video So I'm using 30% of my intelligence uh, But as you can see enormous pushback which, set, which sets up a 50 50 uh, and it's a high Gonna demonstrate this. It's a high. 
And uh, where juggling is limited in this game, Jin is one of the characters that through the laser cannon gets uh, ab absurd damage. It's just absurd. Uh, so that we have to mention straight away. And uh, let's just dive into one of the dumbest things in the game. You know the while running free. You probably know this, you know. Uh, any Tekken game you've played, people use this move. Uh, in Tekken 7, it's usually around plus 7. So you get a free mix-up. In this game, it's plus 17. And your opponent can't block. So yeah, you can actually electric. Easy mode is just doing downward 4. On some characters you can do the first two hits of a laser cannon, although this does not work on Xiaoyu, I believe. No, a little bigger characters. Uh, but so we can actually electric here. That cannot be blocked. So uh, yeah, already it's uh, unbelievably stupid. And uh, just like in other games, uh, even in the first game this technique was introduced, if you do a crouch dash and immediately press up for free, you get while running free. That's pretty good considering on block you get a launch. <laughs> so actually you could use as a 50-50 mix up, hell sweep and mix that with up for free into electric. If they block it you get a launch. So yeah. Oh god, so yeah, Jin, kind of a nightmare in this game. So let's take a look at the Hell Sweep that we mixed up with. I mean, his very first game, and he's a Titan. Uh, and the Hell Sweep. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, you know this. Uh, we get big damage. There we go, 45 damage. Or 47, depending on clean hit or not. Oh shit. Or we do that, set up for another 50-50. So, okay, Hell Sweep, well, just like many other games, does enormous damage. So, I, I guess it's very punishable. <laughs> no, no block stagger. So, uh, unfortunately, there's no frame data to find on the great internet. Uh, I can't test the frames myself because practice mode is so clunky and lacking. But I'm guessing it's minus 12. But uh, he has uh, the add on CD44. So the Hell Sweep is just, again, unbelievably stupid. You want to go for the combo, so you usually do this on its own. So I guess we, we're gonna try while standing four punish you, but we're gonna have to be afraid to do that because at any time you can add the the mid follow up. It's low mid, and the mid, mid even has pushback. <laughs> That's a decent 50-50, don't you think? I have this or this or that or the while standing two, which I can do from wave dash. And for some reason, in Tekken 3, it has pushback on block. I think it's minus 12, and with pushback, so you can't jab. So what? It's safe. Super abusable. So, Jin's 50-50 is just... Pfft. What were they thinking? But of course, this is the game that introduced all of this, so... Uh, we have to forgive uh, Namco, but I'm sure people who played against Jin will never for forgive them. Uh, of course, he got he has the laser cannon, classic technique, um, on counter, and they, all of the hits are safe. But you can't sidestep right prior to the last hit if I'm punished. Uh, but all, but the first hit safe, first two hits safe. On counter hit. If you do the first two hits, you're, they are... What? Oh, I fucked up. They're in a stun. This is a breakable stun by holding forward. But back forward two on its own, this stun. It's not... You can't break that. So you can actually electric here. Oh shit. Fully guaranteed on counter. So it resembles Kazuya's down for two. Uh, Electric technique, but this is much easier. It does some damage. 
And what's this? Oh shit. What the fuck? That's actually guaranteed if you time it properly. Oops. This is another technique I'm gonna demonstrate in two seconds. Just I think that was actually a combo, but the, the combo counter fucks up. Oops. There we go. See the damage? I mean, yeah, I, I can double stun here. Yeah, I'm just gonna try it. I, I just wanna do the, the bigger combo. Jesus, it's slightly technical. <laughs> All of that's guaranteed, and it thank it's thanks to Jin's uh, down for two, which is safe on block. I think it's like minus three on block. Uh, but on hit is plus 17, I think, where they can't block. So easy mode here is 4 for 2, uh, which I'm failing for some reason. But of course I'm recording for YouTube, 50 damage. Uh, and you can electric as I just showed you. And of course I have to counter it down for 2, you have time to hit that and you just do a million damage. Uh, so let's try it. Okay, I thought that connected. It is pretty tight. There we go. But so as I've sh showed you, there were a bazillion ways for Jin to get a free electric. To get a free electric. Um, so all of this is very stupid. Uh, he has the demon paw for for two and as strong as ever. Fantastic move. Uh, and then we have sidestep 2, which was also a very long range mid launcher and very evasive. Uh, takes a step, crouches down. Uh, sidesteps are enormous in Tekken 3. So you get to their side immediately. Um, very strong move. But punishable. Uh, and uh, already in this game, Jin got the perfect throw game. The throw game you know today, with a 1 break, 2 break, 1 plus 2 break, and great Okisema, it was present already in the game where he was introduced. So we have uh, the Kazama elbow to the face, uh, which does 38 damage. This is a 2 break. And remember his old... Uh, I love his old... Uh, uh, back throw. Today he just does a... Um, he just body slams them and it's not very cool, but in this game... Hoo! Hoo! <laughs> dislocates the elbow and I, I love this. It's so epic. Ho! I don't know why they removed that. Um, but uh, so we have that for a uh, two break and then he has the stone head into Oki, 33 damage, that's the 1 plus 2 break, and then complicated wire, the 1 break, into Oki. So already in the first game, he has his uh, very well known um, super fro game, I mean I, I shouldn't call it super fro game considering you have king, but when you have a character that is so versatile and all round like Jin, you know, that you can talk forever about his 50-50 and then he has uh, pressure strings as well, you know, and mix-ups mix but then he has a fantastic throw game as well and it's like, it goes all the way back to Tekken 3, his very first game but, uh, so this is uh, Tekken 3 Jin and I hope you're as stoked as I am uh, going back, revisiting Tekken 3 and uh, yeah, turns out Jin was a monster already in his very first game. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a lovely day. Take care.